Oh, jeez. I need a heal. Quick. Heal. Heal. He's running. Now I'm chasing him. So yesterday I released a video where I ran the Seraph with 7 speed skills and 3 nitros. That was a lot of fun to play. Very funny actually. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. But uh, after reading the comments under, you know, that video, I noticed many of you were asking me about the Skyros. You know, how fast does the Skyros go? Uh, you know, if the Seraph goes that fast, how fast does the Skyros go with nitros and 7 speed skills? Well, we're going to be doing that in today's video. I'm going to be running two games. Uh, the first game is going to have the Talon, Jaw, and the Claw. Second game is going to have the Devastator, Havoc, and the Scatter Weapon. So the Sonic Weapons. Uh, we have three Nitro units on here. So all the speed uh, you can possibly give it in terms of the modules. We've got the Theseus. Okay, so if you take a look at the uh, the skills, all of them are speed skills. A cunning Opportunist, Scout, Spy, Stubborn, Ninja. Uh, one thing that this doesn't have is the Engine Expert, okay? Because I was looking at the skills, we don't have Engine Expert on here. So I'm assuming this is going to be quite a bit slower, but it's still going to be pretty fast. And the other thing I'm going to do is we're also going to be using uh, the Speed Boosters. So if we take a look at uh, this 20% increased speed, uh, we're going to be activating this as well. And uh, I guess with that said, let's drop into a game here and let's see how fast the Skyros goes. Okay, so game one, we have dropped in on Moon Map and I have started with the Skyros first. So we have the Armadillo on here. A couple of you said I should try it out with the Armadillo, although, you know what? I think Nebula might be best for this build. The Armadillo is good if you can get beacons. Uh, I think uh, I was hoping actually to get that player. We have a lot of players passing through center here. Maybe I can get a kill with this and that can increase uh, my defense a bit. What is my speed? Okay, so we have a uh, we have another beacon here. So the more beacons I capture, the more resistance I'm going to have on this thing. They have another... They have a Skyros too. Uh-oh. We're going to have a Skyros battle here. Let's try to do this. Um, This is going to be uh, a bit tricky here. I'm going to need some help. You know what? Let's go for the center beacon. If I can cap... If I can capture the center beacon, I can get more resistance. It'll be harder for them to kill me. Okay, let's do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, man. I needed to fire just a little bit more. My weapons... Um, okay, let me just do this here. We gotta go into the, uh, the ball mode again. So, yeah, compared to the Seraph, this isn't as fast because of the, uh, the engine expert, which is what the Seraph has. That makes a huge difference, though. So how many stacks are we at here? I think it's five. I'm looking at the left side of my screen. We're going to get another beacon. So the more beacons and the more kills I get uh, with the armadillo, it stacks that resistance. Okay, so you get more defense points. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're at six right now. Ooh, I don't know if I want to run into this mess here. Oh, you know what I can do is let's do that. Let's try to get this other beacon here behind them. Ooh, we might even be able to get a kill here too. We can get a kill. We can get both resistance for the kill and the beacon capture. Yes! Is there someone on that side? Oh, man! <laughs> One thing I noticed, I get locked down a lot. But I remember doing something like this a while back and I constantly got locked down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? Let's just push the other way because this way they follow me. Oh, come on. You know what I think I'm going to do is the next game, I'm going to try to run the Nebula on here just so we can kind of see the comparison between the two. Yeah, I think they're going to kill me here. I'm trying to see if I can get a, a heal. I really want to get out of this bot though because my team kind of needs the firepower. You can see they're giving up a lot of beacons back there. 
Uh, if I can survive a bit longer, I can use my heal and then I'll attack. Okay, let's do this. Maybe we can get a kill. Nope. Okay, let's drop in next with the angler. And also, guys, if you aren't aware, I am doing an angler giveaway. The winners are going to be announced, I believe I said next Tuesday. So I'll leave a link actually to that giveaway live stream and you guys can enter. But uh, 200 of these robots are going to be up for grabs. Um, I do consider it the best robot in the game right now. So uh, definitely a very good prize. I'm trying to think, should I attack on the top here or should I go for... Okay, I'm going to go for the top. Yeah, they have a, they have a luchador back there. Let's try to deal with this guy here if we can get the if we can get the saint to beacon i'm just trying to knock his shield down a bit he's he kind of ran away if we get if we get this beacon we'll have three beacons and then i can move to the side let's try to deal with the uh the luchador here or at least with the kepri yeah sonic weapons do a lot of damage to uh titans and what I can do is I can do this, and my um, my white eye drone is using the EMP on this guy, so he can't use his ability as much. Disables him. We have another Luchador moving this way. Might even be very effective against that Typhon back there too. Okay, I'm going to use my ability here. So you can see he got EMP'd, he got locked. There is a Typhon around the corner here, so I have to kind of be careful of him. Waiting for this guy's ability to end. Trying to keep my distance because remember there's a Typhon. He's going to try to EMP me. Or at least use uh, or at least use the Blackout ability rather. Let's use my ability. Let's EMP this guy. Let's move this way. This guy's going to have to land here. Yep. Oh no, he used his flight. Oh no, I got hit by the Blackout. No wait, EMP. That was a, uh, that was a mirror mitz that hit me back here. I wonder if I can get close enough to do damage uh, to him. The thing is, I have to break his, uh, his shield. This guy should be dead. There we go. Let's use my ability. So this bot actually does damage while you are using the phase shift. So this guy's taking damage right now. That's why it's so powerful. Especially if you have the right uh, the right combo in terms of modules and drones on here. I still think the white art drone is probably the best for this. Whoa, what is this guy in? What is that? Okay, I thought it was uh, I thought it was like a shell or something. I could see that he had that ability uh, symbol thing on the top. Let's try to kill him here if I can. Yeah, my teammates <laughs> they got off the beacon here. Yeah, I was trying to defend it. We're giving up a lot of beacons. We may want to, like, get some beacons before this game ends here. This game is a lot closer than it really should be. Okay, so we have... Oh, we don't have three beacons. We still have two. And we're giving up another one on this side to Amanda. Let's hit this guy. I'm going to hit... I'm going to hit this, uh, the siren here. Um, looks like we're gonna get that side. I'm gonna see if I can perhaps go for this angler. Yeah, one of the downsides to these weapons, they kind of fire upwards. So, I have to kind of get really close to this guy to knock his shield down. There we go. This might be able to kill him. Okay, so if we can get, if we can get this beacon, that should drive the beacon bar down a bit more. Is there a guy here? No, there isn't. Trying to move on over to this side. That looks like a Seraph. Yeah, these weapons actually do a lot of damage to the Seraph. Seraph, Harpy, and Siren. Also the Skyros, I noticed. Just need to stay alive here. Oh, come on. Yes. Ooh, that, yeah, yeah. 
Someone just chucked the kitchen sink at him. Oh my gosh, this guy's just gonna get smoked. So that is a Skyros, but look at how much damage I did to him. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's gonna be game. So, not as fast as the as the Seraph. I think the Seraph is by far a lot faster than the Skyros, but for the second game, I'm gonna switch out the weapons for the Sonic weapons and put the Nebula on. Okay, so game two we have dropped in on row map. And I have started with the Skyros first. So this Skyros has the Sonic weapons and also uh, the Nebula drone on here. Oh, wait. I'm going to try to maybe... Uh, I wonder if I should engage the Scorpion. I think he's going to blink back, actually. Well, let's see. I'm hoping that my teammates uh, help out here. And okay, maybe let, let's try to see if we can get him with the Sonic damage. He's almost dead. There we go. Okay, let's push. Let's push the home. Kind of debating on whether the Nebula is better than the Armadillo. I think... I think overall, the Nebula is probably better. Oh, they have a Skyros going for that beacon. Whoa, this guy has... He has Shredders on there. Which is kind of annoying because... <laughs> I always get locked down when I'm running this build. Yeah, if there's one thing I would add to this is at least like one anti-control. No point having the speed if you keep getting locked down. Is that guy gonna teleport? Oh, no, wait, nope. He's in stealth. Oh man, he's actually doing a decent amount of damage too. The thing is, I can't really attack him. If I attack him, he's gonna shred me up. This other guy, you know what we should do is he's going to ru eventually run out of his stealth. No! Yes! We did it! <laughs> let's let's go for this beacon. Oh my gosh, he has another one. I think this guy actually runs five of them. I know this player. He runs like five pursuers. Oh jeez. Come on, heal, heal, heal. We can't die to him. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can hit this guy. Yes, we did it! Oh, man. I was hoping to... <laughs> that did not work at all. So, bottom line, guys. The uh, Skyros, worth all the speed skills. You know, you go a bit faster, but I don't think it's worth it. Definitely not like what we experienced in yesterday's video. Which, again, if you haven't checked it out, definitely check that out because you'll see the difference between this build and the Seraph. Massive difference. You know, in the case of the Seraph, the speed actually does help a lot. Skyros, not so much. Ooh, this guy's taking on a lot of damage. I'm trying to move this side here. Ooh, that's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, this guy's going to go down too. Yep, there we go. I'm going to launch that over there. While I take this beacon. I think it's going to shoot at that... Yeah, that Seraph is going to get shot when he lands. Yeah, his health is going to drop very quickly here. Oh my gosh. I think that was from the, uh, the turret. The turret is still here. Oh no, wait. Is that his turret? It might be his turret. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want to try to launch it over there by their home spawn. That way, when they drop in, they get hit by, uh, my turret. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I put down a heal. These weapons take a while to kill a revenant. 
At least at close range. Yeah, this guy, he keeps linking to me. Okay, let's see if we can maybe uh, launch this over there. That should help a lot. Oh my gosh, look at his health. Oh, come on. I got locked again. This guy is so close to dying. Yes, there we go. That guy's dead for sure. Let's drop a heal here. Man, these guys are really dropping a lot of orbital strikes. <laughs> that guy's in another pursuer. Look. Um. Oh, you know what I might do? We might have to... Wait, 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 wait. I dropped my um, my turret here to deal with the, uh, the Indra. We can let the turret do the work for us while I hide. I think we got him. Yes, there we go. Let's go for this guy next. Ooh. Oh my. It's the same guy again. He has another pursuer. Oh my gosh, this guy is coming in fast and furious. <laughs> Save me! Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let me guess. He has another one? I think he has another one, right? Oh man. That was like an... He has another one! Yeah, he's running five. It's... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy... <laughs> Look. Am I gonna... Am I gonna kill him? <laughs> oh, jeez. I need a heal, quick! Heal! Heal! He's running. Now I'm chasing him. We're gonna... We're gonna do this. He got killed. He got killed. <laughs> oh man does he have another one though i think he has another what is that no he's in his titan now oh man that was so funny this guy might kill me yeah there we go oh they have an indra there um let's drop in with this fenrir oh man that was so funny yeah, so I think one thing, if you're running like the Skyros, having the anti-control really helps. But I think if I had to choose, maybe running instead like uh, Repair Amp, just to really strengthen it. Because that way you play the strength of the Skyros and it allows you to actually attack uh, with your weapons. Uh, but this is how we did in that game. And uh, yeah, in the comment section below, let me know, you know, which of these speed skills you would like to see on other robots that I've done. Uh, or at least I haven't done rather. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.